Hi, welcome to your video on circle graphs. You will be able to make a circle graph and write the degrees as percents and percents as degrees. Vocabulary that you need to know first is a central angle. That is a measure whose vertex is the center of a circle. Um, and just a little FYI that there are 360 in a circle because there's 360 degrees. Um, here's a picture of what that looks like and what it is not. Um, obviously the middle one is a central angle because the point O um, is in the middle or the center of the circle. First question is how do I take percent data and put it into a circle graph? And you will use proportions to do so. Uh, the first example We'll start with the French at 30%. So 30 and percent is out of 100. So that's our first proportion equals x over, and we're trying to go to degrees. Um, think part to whole relationships. Degrees has 360. Uh, so here is our proportion, and from there we can solve. Um, so going from 100 to 360 and multiplying by 3.6, so I'm going to take 30 and multiply that by 3.6. And I get x to equal 108. In other words, it is 108 degrees um, from here to here, 108 degrees of that circle. Um, so that was the French. We're going to do a couple more here because you'll have to basically do for every problem, every table. Um, the next one is Spanish. I'll put a letter S here. Um, you're going to write your proportion. So 55% is out of 100. And then X over your 360 degrees. Uh, to go from 100 to 360, you multiply by 3.6. So do the same thing, 55 times 3.6 is 198. So 198 degrees is from here to here. Oop. I guess I kind of messed with it. That's okay though. Um, Alright, two more we have left. Next one, um, we will do the Italian. And that's 10% out of 100% equals x over 360, multiply by 3.6, do the same thing, 10 times 3.6 is 36, so 36 degrees is the measure of that 10% space. Um, and last but not least, we have the German at 5%, so 5 out of 100 equals x out of 360. Going from 100 to 360, I multiply by 3.6. Do the same thing. 5 times 3.6 is 18. So it is 18 degrees. Um, I just want to take a second to show you this a little bit closer up. Um, please notice that there are no spaces. Um, even though it kind of looks like it in this table, there's actually no spaces. Um, everything's butted up next to each other. Um, and they started at zero when they measured this. Uh, next question, how do I take data values and put it into a circle graph? So sometimes you're just given data like this problem here. Um, and so what you have to do first is figure out your part to whole um, items of information. Um, so really it's pretty easy. You have to just know the total. Um, so at the end, if you're not given it, you're going to have to count up the total. Um, and I figure that out by adding everything up. So 60 plus 40 plus 22, plus 15, plus 5, plus 20, gives me a total of 657 people. Now that I know that, I can focus on my part to whole relationships. Um, so for dinner, my part is going to be 60 out of my whole 657. And that's where you're going to first convert it to a percent because we want to know what percent of the circle graph that is. Um, so we're going to set it up like this, and then going from 657 to 100, you will take your um, 100 and divide it by 657, and then you're going to get an answer of 0 0.1, 0 0.152207. 
and I'm actually multiplying that and you can double check by taking your 657 and multiplying it by that number um, and you should get the correct answer so I'm going to start with what I know to what I don't know I'm going to multiply the same thing 152207 um, and so I take 60 times that 0 0.152207 and I get x to be 9.132 degrees. Now that I know degrees, I'm going to solve uh, for the percent. And so this is going to just not necessarily be super nice, but it's doable. Um, equals. Now I have to find degrees. Degrees are out of 360. So I'm going to take that, multiply it by 3.6, 9.13, times 3.6 will give me 32 point, and with rounding, 87, so 32.87 degrees. Oops, and I mislabeled, this is 9.32%, which is 32.87 degrees. And that was for the dinner. Um, I'm not going to do all of these um, because that would make for an incredibly long video. Um, I'll do walking next. So walking, we have 5 out of our total of 657. And we first need to find our percent. I'll label it P this time. That might be more helpful. Percent is out of 100. Um, so 657 to 100, I multiplied by the 0 0.152207. So do the same thing. 5 times 0.152207. And that will equal, so P equals 0 0.76 approximately percent. After I find the percent, I take that number out of 100 and go to degrees out of 360. So multiply by 3.6. And we take that 0 0.76, multiply it by 3.6, and we get... Um, I'll label this D this time. So D then is 2.74 with rounding degrees. So that's just a very, very small sliver um, of P. So if you need to do one more, you can, but I think this is good enough explanation. Remember this, when you start to graph them, which we haven't showed you on the video, we'll do that in class. Um, I always start at zero degrees when you're making your circle graph um, and then count from there. And then there are never, ever, ever any spaces involved ever. Um, if there are spaces, that means you did it wrong. Here's your turn. Um, how many degrees? In other words, what's the angle measure of the Nike shoes? Um, so the Nike shoes, uh, as you can see right here, are the 32% in that kind of purpley color. Um, and then please put your answer in a, on the Google form. There will also be a couple additional questions. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to submit on Google Forms.